Hello everyone, welcome to day 29 of Inktober. We have only two more days till we're done with this challenge. It's amazing. It, it went really, really fast. So for today's prompt, it was a bit delicate to work with animals because with the prompt injured, you just don't want to draw like animals that are hurt or something. It's just, yeah, it's not right because, yeah, I think a lot of people are very sensitive about that. So I think people aren't as sensitive if you see people like humans injured than animals. So that's what I went for. I know it's kind of crazy. It's uh, anyway. <laughs> So I went on the sketchy app today and I found this funny photo. I'm hoping it's just a pose that it's just makeup and a, like a, a costume, really. Because if it's a real photo of, of a real person injured, then I, re I really feel sorry for him. But just the expression on his face kind of made me think that he was just overdoing it, hopefully. <laughs> So that's what I chose and I decided to just do another monochromatic portrait. But this time I did not use my Delator ink. I used the Windsor at Newton drawing ink. I wanted to change a little bit and try something else. And it worked really well. I also used a handmade watercolor journal with really good watercolor, 100% cotton and 140 pounds, just to see the difference with my watercolor sketchbook, the pentallic one, which is still 140 pounds, but it's not cotton. So I wanted to see if there was um, a difference. And boy, there is. It was very nice to use. Although the grain is a little thicker for cold press paper, which is normal when it's a nice, nice quality. So I had to get my brush a bit more wet than I did for my pentallic journal. But it was nice to see the ink not drying as fast because then I was able to spread it nicely the way I wanted it to look like. So I really, really enjoyed that. And I know that from now on, if I want to do more ink drawings or portraits, that's the way to go. Use really good watercolor paper. And I know that I'll have a very nice experience. So that's it for today. Thank you all for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow for day 30 of Inktober. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.